Hey everyone, it's Mark Propili again with Hockey Ministries International bringing you another video chapel. Our special guest chaplain today is Bo Willette, the chaplain to the Tucson Roadrunners of the AHL. He's going to be talking about Psalm 51 and he's got a very clever way of bringing his point home and I think you'll be blessed. Let's listen. Hey guys, it's Chaplain Bo here and you're probably wondering why I have my guitar, but I'm going to do my little uh, chapel time with you guys with my guitar and kind of give a little demonstration, a little lesson. So um, the passage that we're going to go through today is one that is really famous. It's in the book of Psalms, and it's Psalm 51. It's a psalm of a king of Israel, one of the most uh, popular kings of Israel, named King David. You might remember King David from um, David and Goliath fame. And David was uh, kind of the runt of the litter of his family, and... Through some mighty works of God, he was raised all the way up to the place of the king of Israel. But it wasn't an easy road for him. And like most of us, we go through a lot of ups and downs and on our way to uh, any kind of success in life. And uh, he certainly had his bumps and bruises. But one of those bumps and bruises came um, through the act of kind of a laziness on his part where he should have been at war, but instead he was just hanging out in his house. And and um, he, he ended up uh, having this lustful desire for this woman who was his neighbor. And, and actually uh, one of his mighty men, one of his uh, mighty men of valor, as they're called, uh, one of his strong military friends, his wife was there and he ended up sleeping with her and she got pregnant and he ended up freaking out a bit and just a little bit to the point where he ended up uh, trying to cover it up by arranging the the um, uh, killing of his friend um, who uh, was uh, the mighty man of valor so that he could uh, basically cover up his sin. And so this psalm says, have mercy on me, O God. And you could see his heart, right, just totally wrenched with what he did. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Now, I want you to see some words in this passage. The word it, sin is used. The words transgression is used. And the word iniquity is used. And these words all talk about kind of a little bit of a different thing. And so I'm going to break it down to you. <clears throat> Out of these three terms, one of them, sin, just means to miss, miss the mark. It's like when you shoot a shot and the puck misses the net. That's sin. You miss the mark of what was intended. And what's intended is God's holiness, God's law is intended to live according to it. And so when you miss it, you sin. Does that make sense? Transgression, that just means you can't go past where it says don't trespass. You know, we're all little kids, right? And there's a little fence that says don't trespass. And what do we do? We jump over the fence and we go over there. Well, it says don't trust, don't transgress. Well, David says I've transgressed. I've broken the law. The law said don't do this and I went over it. I went around it, right? We all have done that before too. And then the other one is iniquity. And iniquity means to bend. Okay? It means so think of your stick when your stick is straight. It has no iniquity, but when you bend it, now it has iniquity. But now think of ethics like that, morality like that. What if your ethics are bent? So instead of holding to the straight and narrow, you now bend a little bit. So you think of a guitar, and a guitar has two channels. You can, uh, an amplifier makes this happen to an electric guitar where you can have a clean channel. Think of clean as right, the clean channel. And then there's a distorted channel. And this is what David's talking about is that his life has become kind of sounding like this. Right? So it sounds really distorted and 
that's what this guitar sounds like. It's got this distortion sound. Think of that as iniquity. It's the bending, right? The guitar has a natural sound, the clean channel, right? That That is supposed to be, that is the right, the clean way. But then all of a sudden it picks up and it, go, it goes this, this, you can flip some switches and it, got, it has a distorted sound. So let me put it on the clean channel for you. And you guys know what that sounds like. That sounds like this. So you guys are familiar with that clean sound, right? You know, it's just a real basic sound, but it's clean. But then what happens in our life is sometimes we start making decisions, right? And then, and then all of a sudden we become what? We get into this again. Right? And then we start sounding more like that. start getting into the distorted sound and everything starts getting right and then when it gets like that when it gets all crazy sounding like that what we need to do is got we have to come to God and we have to say hey God have mercy on me Lord cleanse me of the distortion that's in my life all the noise all the bending right all the transgressing right all the missing of the mark and that's what Jesus came to do. He came to make us clean, which is beautiful, by his blood. Through his blood, he sees us, the Father sees us, as clean. No matter how distorted we might sound, um, through the blood of Christ, we've been washed and made clean. So now, now we sound clean, which is beautiful, right? Now we sound like clean. When you play clean, you can hear everything. You can hear every note. Right? Because it's clean. So, that's a great lesson, I hope, for you as it is for me is that sometimes in our life just like King David our life can get real distorted quick but it's beautiful to know that through the blood of Christ and what he's done for us that you know what we've been made clean and and that's a beautiful thing a truth that we hold on to with everything but practically in your life too if you find yourself moving to the right or to the left that bending that moving over, that transgressing, that sinning, which we all find those in things in our lives. Go to God and just bring that to our Christ, our Lord. And he is so faithful to forgive and to have mercy and to pour his love on you. So you guys have a great time. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, Bo. Again, a very creative way to bring home the truth of Psalm 51. Uh, but I have a question for everyone out there. Anyone else out there, maybe like the distorted guitar a little bit better? I think I did. I think I like that rock distortion better than the clean. I like the clean, but I think I might like that distortion a little better. Uh, th that might be okay for guitar playing, but the problem is often in life, we actually start liking the distorted, the bent way, not the clean way, not the right way. And that is, uh, it, it's terrible to participate in sin and indiscretion and the rest. But um, these like one-offs, um, I, I think God can like, in a sense, handle them. It's the problem when our heart really starts to prefer the distorted way. We start to prefer the dark way. We start to prefer the bent way. I mean, in light of circumstances here in uh, this summer of 2020 and all the chaos that's going on in the United States, uh, we see that there is a, a bentness to us. We, we, ha we are a people that not only do the wrong things, but we tend to lean towards the wrong thing. It, it's almost like we prefer 
the darkness. We prefer the distortion. And so I think that's the real challenge for us here is to come to God like David did. David sinned. He erred. He transgressed. And then he confessed. And God made him right again. And I think that's our job, too, is to, is to return to God and say, Lord, not only have I done this, that, and the other thing, absolutely guilty, but my heart actually leans that way. My heart actually at times wants the distortion, wants the darkness, wants the bent. And so, Lord, cleanse me from that, too. That's what his Psalm 51 says. It says, cleanse me and I will be white, whiter than snow. So join with me as we pray right now a prayer of repentance and to say, you know what, I haven't done, I haven't killed Uriah the Hittite. I didn't do that. And um, I didn't kill anyone this year, but in some ways I have killed someone. I killed the Lord Jesus Christ. My sin sent him to the cross. And even that aside, as if I should say that, the greatest sin in the world, but I sin every day. Oh, I don't do that sin or that sin, but I'm a sinner. My heart is bent towards darkness. So I'm going to ask a prayer. I'm going to pray a prayer of repentance for myself, and I invite you to join me, whoever would want to. Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, thank you that you cleansed David from his terrible sin and indiscretion. Lord, I have my own. Oh, they look different. They've got different names, but they're my own. Forgive me for not only doing wrong, but actually wanting it, actually enjoying the distorted mindset, the distorted life, the distorted way of looking at people. Lord, forgive me. And thank you that you do. Thank you that in Christ, even though I sent him to the cross and I basically killed your son, you're, it's also uh, the place where I find forgiveness. So thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for forgiving my friends. Help us to continue this cycle of whenever we sin, to come, to repent, to know that we're cleansed, to start clean again. And Lord, help us to want to hear the clean sounds, not the distorted ones. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again, Bo, and thanks again for everyone who joined us. A great chapel, and I really hope we all take that to heart. You know, the one thing we have to do as human beings consistently, we all, sometimes we wonder, what do you want me to do, Lord? What do you want me to do? I can guarantee you this. He wants us to repent. He wants us to return to him and just admit we have erred big time. So take that to heart. I want to try to take that to heart, and I hope to see you again. And if you want more information on Hockey Ministries International, click one of the links below. See you soon.